Hello, my name is Colt Correa. I'm the COO of Intrepid Control Systems, and we're in the process of finalizing an entire new section in our Automotive Ethernet book, now in its second edition, on automotive cybersecurity. In this video, we're going to give you an overview of Automotive MACSEC and MACSEC Key Agreement in five minutes. Here we go. MACSEC and MKA were defined within IEEE, without a lot of automotive requirements in mind. As a result, Open Alliance and Automotive Group Technical Committee 17 to adapt these standards for automotive use cases, reducing latencies, timeouts, and simplifying the implementation. Automotive MACSEC provides authentication and confidentiality at layer two from one PHY to another PHY. Each PHY pair needs its own unique key. MACSEC defines the security at layer two, and MKA defines how to deliver ephemeral keys. Automotive Ethernet PHYs support MACSEC with a built-in MACSEC engine that does most of the heavy lifting with AES cipher suites. Ephemeral keys are generally delivered through an MDIO hardware interface, and standard MAC frames are delivered and received through a standard MII interface. A permit policy can be programmed into the PHY, allowing some frames to be transmitted unsecured, while others are secured, based on addresses, ether types, and other parameters. A MACSEC PDU is a standard MAC frame with additional information, the SEC tag and the ICV integrity check value added. The ICV is either a 16 or 32 byte integrity check value used to authenticate data in the frame, everything before the ICV. Encryption is optional from the SEC tag, including the entire payload. In the SEC tag, important fields are the packet number, incrementing by one every time a MACSEC PDU is transmitted, preventing replay attacks and the association number used to look up the correct ephemeral key. And MACSEC PDUs always have the ether type 88E5. MACSEC uses the frame data, an initialization vector, and the ephemeral SAK to generate the ICV value. An ephemeral SAK is used because this hides the identity of the main secret, which is the CAK. Also, using ephemeral keys that gets swapped out in time creates a system where not enough data is generated to reverse engineer the key. On the receiving side, the association number is used to look up the correct SAK and the same inputs are put into the AES algorithm and independently the receiver generates an ICV. If the ICV generated by the receiver is identical to the ICV in the transmission, we know that this frame is authentic. All participants in the system must have two secrets securely stored and pre-configured, the connectivity association key and the connectivity key name. A statically configured key server, generally in the same ECU as a switch, generates SAKs with a random number as one of its inputs. Other keys are the integrity check key and the key exchange key. These keys are also generated from the CAK but have no random inputs because all participants must independently generate these keys. The ICK is used for the authentication of MK PDUs and the KEK is used to transport encrypted SAKs. MK PDUs are structured information that contain information that is exchanged between MKA participants. It starts with a header and then various parameter sets carrying different information in each one, followed by an integrity check value that authenticates the frame. And these are sent in standard MAC frames. Common parameter sets are listed here. The basic parameter set must be sent on a periodic interval by all participants. It contains information if the entity is a key server, capabilities about MACSEC and other information needed by participants. The distributed SAK parameter set distributes the encrypted ephemeral SAKs. The MACSEC SAK use parameter set indicates how the most recent and previously sent keys are currently being used, whether they're being used by the participant for reception or transmission. This is used so that multiple keys can be active at the same time during a rekey event, where not all participants may have the most recent key active. MK PDUs are sent in various sequences during a boot up to quickly initialize all FIs with a ephemeral SAK. New SAKs need to be generated by the key server and distributed across the network to participants in a rekey event triggered by a packet number rollover or other triggers. Here, we can have more than one SAK active at one time so that MACSEC PDU transmission and reception goes uninterrupted. 
There we have it, MACSEC and MKA in five minutes, producing high level of security point-to-point -point or FI-to-FI on automotive Ethernet networks. Thank you for your time.